you are welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to look at inflation in uganda yeah inflation inflation is the general increase in the prices of goods and services over a period of time usually a year yeah consistent increase so inflation in uganda uganda has history of hyperinflation in 1950s to 1980s especially in the days of amin whereby he overprinted money and then there was inflation so uganda has a history of hyperinflation in 1970s to 1980s reforms in the 1990s stabilized it when when seven came into power he came up with the nrm recovery program which stabilized the inflation but became vo volatile between the financial year 2007 and 2008 then financial year 2016 and 2017 and these were election years election years always bring about inflation however it has been under control since then yeah. so uganda's annual inflation from january 2017 to september 2000 like fixed reducing increasing reducing increasing reducing increasing like that yeah and uh, we look at the main drivers of inflation in uganda main drivers of inflation the things that bring about inflation the main things that bring about inflation in uganda so we have three main drivers of inflation in Uganda. First, we have uh, food and supply side shocks, for example, electricity and oil prices, utilities, they, they lead to inflation. For, 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 for example, now, oil prices are so high, fuel prices are so high. And when they are high, everything else will become high because we, we use transport to transport everything, to transport the food that we eat, to transport all the goods that we use. So what, once there is a supply side shock in the oil prices, it will lead to inflation in other sectors also. Yes. So food and other supply side shocks is the main driver of inflation in Uganda. Then depreciation of the shilling. Our, our shilling keeps on losing value and the more it loses value the more the, the, the prices of the goods and services increase which lead to inflation then another one is political business cycles domestic strong domestic demand and uncertainty in election years like in years of elections prices always go high because we are always uncertain for example in the previous elections in uh, in the previous elections in 2021 in january everyone was so was 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 so, so scared of the war and people were going to the villages and those who stayed in town things were expensive because people were overstocking in their houses so pol the political business cycles especially in the election years lead to inflation so those are the three main drivers of inflation food and other supply side shock, depreciation of the shilling, then political business cycles. Yeah. But however, since the financial 2017 and 2018, inflation has remained relatively low. So let's look at the reasons why inflation has remained low inflation was low in, in the financial 2017-2018 first is good weather conditions that supported agriculture third more food production remember we said one of the main drivers of inflation is limited su su supply of food for the supply side shock for example in the food section so when there is good weather conditions that support agriculture and there will be more pr production of agriculture products, meaning that the prices of agricultural products will be low. Yeah, so inflation will also remain low. Then depreciation pressure on the shilling remained broadly stable. Yeah, the, 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 our, our money was not overlosing value. Then relatively stable 
global and regional economies supported demand for Ugandan products. However, recently COVID-19 affected the global and regional demand. Nevertheless, average inflation has remained low and below the 5% target. So when, when there is stable global and regional economies, the, 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 the country can be able to export to other countries. Yeah. But it was spoiled by COVID-19, whereby it came and things were, things were not exported and we had a lot of things in the country, but still the, the prices of goods and services did not increase in COVID. Instead, they just reduced. Yeah. The, the prices of matoke were, were so low, the prices of tomatoes, so still, inflation remained low. Yeah. Then uh, le le let's look at fighting inflation. The war against inflation in Uganda will only be won if Uganda addresses the supply side causes of inflation, i.e. food, utilities, and the value of the shilling. Yeah, so we, we can only fight inflation by addressing the supply side causes of inflation. We, we make sure that there is enough supply of food, utilities, and the value of the shillings that does not keep what? Depreciating. Instead, we increase on the value of the shilling. That is the only way we cannot fight inflation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be continuing with our topic, which is macroeconomic indicators. We are done with one, which is inflation.